We just showed up at the mobile home here to get some work done and we haven't even gotten the windows open yet. This is raw, we just walked in. Last time we were here, we installed the shower base and the electric panel. That was two days ago. Shower base has been sitting and I'm excited to see how it looks, how it feels, and if we're ready to install the walls. I'm hoping that the mortar set up, sat up okay, dried firm. I'm gonna take you in. We're gonna see if there's any movement, any creaking. Let's hope this base is solid. So we needed a mortar base under the shower because the floor was not level. We wanted to level this up, so we tried our best to get it there. Little bit of creaks over there. It feels solid. Like it feels pretty good. Should be good by now. Yeah, well, just making sure it's got good coverage and it doesn't move. We worked. There was a couple of little cracks over here, but I just worked them out. Not cracks in the shower base, just creaking. Yeah. That always happens. This, this feels firm under my feet. You can just feel it. So, I'm happy. Even bouncing on it doesn't, doesn't move. It's good. With that said, I'm satisfied with how solid this feels. I'm going to go ahead and get the back wall in place. You might have to help me. I don't know if I can lift this in there just because of the awkwardness of it. Okay. I was going to put it on this end originally so I could be backwards there. It's okay. Okay. Let me just think the best way to get this in here. I don't want you to get caught up. Yeah, I can't lift it from the right there. I guess just grab the grab side the of it side. Yeah, and just lift. It's rocking so hard, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Well, I was afraid of this. Are you serious? Yeah. And then you have to rip it out and buy a new one. Perhaps. The base? I hate this. Yeah, but look at it. You see, you can tell because of the way it leans forward. If the base was flat, it, would sit, it wouldn't lean forward because it would just be sitting. That's how big the gap is under it, that it falls forward. That's weird that this one's sitting where it's supposed to. Yeah, I was wondering why this is out so far. It shouldn't be. I don't know what's going on with that. Because it should be exactly at the right... Like this one sits flush like it should. It's like I knew that these shower bases have a hump in the back. And I should have focused more on that. But I was... 
Just hoping it wouldn't be too bad. So here's the issue that we're facing is inside the shower, the shower base has a hump along the back wall. It's, it's bowed like this. So the back shower wall is sitting on that bow and it lifts the corners. There's a huge gap under the corners and that makes the walls sit higher than they should. So there's a gap around the walls and the gap is pretty big. It's probably three quarters of it or three eighths of an inch. I don't think it's going to work. We're going to have to fix this. All right. So as you saw, we ran into a dilemma today. The instructions explain how to install this shower base and they say that there should be no more than a 1 32nd inch gap between the base and the wall. 1 32nd is tiny, that's more or less tight, it's, it's closed up. You can see it right there. They don't want a gap and we have something that's like 3 8 of an inch or more. So this gap is huge around the base of this tub. We've run into this problem once before installing the same unit actually. Those bases, some of them tend to be warped and you really got to be careful about, about getting that straight. If we left it, it might be okay, but it wouldn't be right and it's prone to a lot of water getting in there, filth getting in there, and the shower doors leaking. We do plan on installing shower doors in here, and there's a big gap where they're going to come down at the corner. The right thing to do is to do it again. Handle this shower, ready? Alright. I have like a death grip on it. And I just have to say one more time, clarify, this wasn't a problem necessarily with the installation. It wasn't a problem with the mortar. The shower is solid. It feels good. It's level. It wasn't a problem with my leveling. This is where it should be. The problem is right here. There's a hump in this back panel and the shower is touching here. The walls are sitting here. And then they're floating as they come out to the corners. These corners need to be lifted up somehow. What I'm going to do is Wow. Is it all hooked to the shower? Yep. Little bit of moisture still in it. Didn't hook to the floor, which I'm happy about. Yeah. Oh, and now the shower is 50 pounds heavier. Uh, more with the water. Can you pull that drill out of there? I'm gonna come right through. So that's what a shower base looks like. Any scraping really. Yeah, everything looks
All right, guys, we're coming at this in a whole new angle. What we realized was is that the bases come deformed. We actually picked up a brand new base and test fit it. Did we show that on camera? I don't know what you showed. And without any mortar, without any pressure, the natural base did the same thing. It has a hump in the middle. It's actually not as bad as the first one, but it has that hump right here and the corners go down. And I realized that if we put our full body weight, I mean, you need a hundred plus pounds on there and then it'll balance out. You can push that bow out of it. That's good news. So what I'm doing is I carefully put blocks of wood around this whole area at the right level to level out the shower base. And they're all different heights because the floor does slope this way. So they had to all be, you know, done at, a, at the proper level to account for that slope. These are all screwed in place. They can't go anywhere. And what these will do is give me stopping points. So we're gonna put a new mortar bed down. We're gonna put our new shower base down and then we're gonna force it down into place until it hits these blocks. That's gonna stop us from overdriving it down and squishing the mortar out too much. And it's gonna help us level it a lot easier and quicker instead of guessing and checking it with the level every moment. So if we can force it into these pieces, it should be pretty flat. And then we can use the little clips that the shower comes with to lock it down once these are screwed in, it shouldn't be able to lift up. So I'm hoping they'll be strong enough to do that. I almost wish I cut these two middle ones a little shorter so that I could overcompensate. I almost want the tub to be low in the middle, but we're gonna try our best. We're gonna hope it works. And this time, I think as soon as the shower base is in, because we have these here and it can't move, we're gonna put the back wall on and the side walls on. We're gonna check all the seams before the mortar dries. If we need to, I'm pulling it out and saving it so we don't have to buy a third shower base. I don't mind buying more mortar, but we can't keep buying shower bases. There's the final test fit. And if I put weight on it, the middle bow is down and it should be good. And it should. Shouldn't be a problem. So let's pull this out. Carefully. I got two buckets of wet, much better mortar. Right? Yeah. That's nice. Yep. There's a tiny bit in there, but... Two giant cow pies. Well, this feels beautiful, actually. Ooh. This... That's good. That's creamy. Yeah. Creamy. I like that. This is gonna... This is going to work. Yeah. It might not. Stop. Can't you just say it'll work and end it? No. <laughs> okay. So this end I want it to stay like pretty thick. thick. Because this is the end with... with the major leveling issues. Yeah. This end, not so much, but we're going to... Still needs it. Make sure everything is supported. Yep. It was like made weird. I think I'm going to take some of this out, Stephen. I don't want it to be like... So we're doing a new one, and hopefully that one goes better. Okay. Should Oops. this be away from the... This is okay. We'll, okay. We'll clean it up. It's fine. There it is. Let me just rinse my hands off before I touch the tub. I'll do it very quickly. Whoa. So we're not going to play around. We're going to go right now and put them in a... Okay. That looks like a nice mortar bed. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just 
trying to get it balanced. Okay, there it is. Now you don't have to worry about squishing it too far down. No. So that's good. Yeah, we're just going to squish it to the blocks. Oh, you should be able to get down to that. Yep, we're, we're pretty much almost there already. <laughs> Let's get the clips ready, and I'll, I'll get these screwed in. We're going to want one at every single stud. Yep. So start. Okay. Now, this should be fine over here. check that for level or I'm just I'm going with it we're gonna check level after I get these all in there's no way that's right that's higher than it was before look at that was it like that it wasn't like that but if that's where it needs to be you know yeah. I guess that's what it looks like when you take the bow out. Well, let's let's just see what's going on here. The side is that's level. That's pretty level. Honestly, it's probably it probably is a little high on that end. A little bit. A little bit. Step over the level. Oh, I got the finger grip on these. Finger How grip. are you doing that? Okay, ready? Yeah. I hope I don't slip down the drain. Is that in? Oh, I hate how that 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 floor soaps though. That looks terrible. Well, it is what it is. I knew the floor sloped, but I didn't know it sloped that much. Let me get the other wall. Oh man, that's that's not the thirty second they wanted, but that's clean. That's way better. This this corner bops down a little bit. Both of them do. Let me go go look. Try get dirty. Get your knees dirty. That's that's a good install. I can handle this. That's a really good install. Maybe not. Look at what's this doing? Well, guys, I fought through it and we got it done. I'm going to leave it right there to dry. We have it all tacked in and the back wall is sitting flat. I mean, really super flat. There's no big gaps. Now, the walls, that's a different story. They're not sitting perfect, but they are much better and they're within tolerance where I can just throw a little caulk on the front and it'll be fine. So I'm going to leave it right there. I think we will end up getting some floor level in here just to make it look nicer and try to level up the floor a little bit. That'll be in the future. We'll see what we can find. We're just going to let this dry and hope we have a nice solid base and then we can finish this project up. But wow, it was definitely a learning experience. And it's funny because we had the same experience before. But this time I really figured out what I needed to do to fix it. The last time I just got a new base that was straight. This time I realized I could really force that bow out of it and I feel better now. Practice makes perfect, I guess. You know, there was an important step that I, I didn't miss it, but I didn't cover it in our last video when I installed these wires to the panel here. And that is putting the protective caps on it. These covers come with the box and you clip it around the wire you slide it on there and that covers up those metal terminals can i do one no i'm gonna do it i'm gonna make sure it's on there good okay mm -hmm. i don't want you ever in this box 
So now the reason we do that is because now those connectors, those terminals are covered, right? And as long as this breaker is off, all of this is off and there's no live wires. You cannot get hurt. So if I went outside right now and I turned on the main breaker at the, at the main panel, nothing could shock you in here. It's still safe to work in. This is neutral, so that doesn't shock you. That's just a nothing, okay? Um, but everything else is solid. And as long as this is off, this is safe. If I turn that on, these will be energized up here. But this is a safety feature that you can't forget. It's required. And now I feel better because now if I need to, I can turn the, the breaker on because it runs the well pump. And when it's off, we don't have water. So I can turn the power on, get our water going, and it's safe inside. No little hands are going to touch these and get hurt. And speaking of the panel, here's the outdoor panel right under our meter base. And this is what controls the house power. But like I said last time, I just want to check it out. We're going to see how bad it looks because you can see it's kind of rusted and nasty. Ay, ay, ay. Look at this. I mean, do you see? Definitely some corrosion on these. A lot of cable showing there. Let me check this. Well, they don't look loose. Oh man. Look at this. This is filthy. Yeah. It needs a blowout and a... There's a lot of corrosion here on the contacts. Yeah. Like heavy white corrosion. Mm -hmm. It's wire brushing and there's green up here. Oh yeah. And we don't want to touch that as the power come in and that's live. Look at these giant spider skins. Ew. So, I'm not thrilled with what I'm seeing here. We got a lot of corrosion coming into the house. The wires look solid, but I don't see any kind of antioxidant coating on there. We got a lot of sand and mud and webs. So it doesn't look great, but it didn't look too dangerous. Everything was at least solid. There wasn't any loose wires. It needs to be cleaned out. That's the biggest thing. Uh, I went ahead and turned the power on temporarily so that we could use our well water to clean out our tools and buckets here. And again, this is safe, so that's good. We're gonna be starting the wiring pretty soon, or I just put the cover right on this, but we're gonna get right into that. And we like to turn the power off outside as much as possible just to be extra safe. Oh, progress is being made today. So while I was at the store today picking up a new shower base, picked up also a case of electrical boxes. I decided I'm gonna wire the house up with metal boxes. I know that's not gonna be super typical. Probably gonna draw, probably gonna raise a lot of questions about why I'm doing that. But here's the fact of the matter, is all of our exterior walls are two by threes, pretty much. And there's not always a lot of room to fit a full size box in there. If I used one of the typical blue boxes, plastic boxes, they are like practically three and a half inches deep. Some of them are a little shallower, but they're, they're pretty deep and they would be touching the outside of the house. There's just no room for it. So with metal boxes, look how thin they are, inch and a half. And I'm gonna use them as a single gang box and I'm gonna be installing mud rings on them. You'll see what those are. 
and basically it'll just convert it into a single opening and we'll have a lot of room in a shallow space inside our walls. So instead of going back and forth with all different boxes, I just bought these for the whole house. It's gonna be quick and easy, but we're just gonna run regular Romex, nothing fancy, no metal conduit. Uh, so we'll, we're gonna get those installed. I was hoping I could do it today, but I think we're just gonna go home. I don't think I'll have time for that. And there's one more thing I picked up while I was at the store. I wish I had this sooner. I've been wanting it for a long time and I finally bought it. Check this out. Klein tools. Whoop, little tiny thing. This right here is a digital angle finder. So it's pretty cool. You can just turn it on and then it tells you what angle, whatever it's sitting on is. So it kind of acts like, like a level, but at the same time it tells you the angle. For example, up here, when I was doing the ceiling, I had to guess what angle it was. 11 and a half degrees. That would have helped me when I was trying to figure out what angle to cut for my wall studs where they meet the top, stud, top plate. Look at that, isn't that cool? You can just see, let's see the bathroom floor. Let's put it on something. Let's lift this up and see where level is. Camel is in the cement bag. That's how level our tub is. Our shower, I mean. Not bad, right? It has a magnetic base so you can stick it to something and I can just see exactly what the angle is and that's going to be so handy when I'm framing up weird things and I need to know the angle of something.
Where? Oh, that's it. Well, we got the base loaded up in the bus. We'll bring that home and we're gonna try to return it because, well, it was defective. They gotta work on those humps and uh, I'm glad the second base was better and we could work with it. So get our money back for that, move on, put this behind us and we'll move forward with the mobile home. I'm so excited to get some electrical run I'm just pumped about that and I'm going to order some plumbing supplies so we can roll right into that too. So stay tuned for that. I guess that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.